Good morning, my name's Fiona, I'm from LEA Moon Arts. This morning we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. So Couture Creations last week sent me up this fabulous box. Um, so we're just going to go through some of their products that they have. So I got a Turbo Tacky, which is a fast dry tacky glue. And we got an all-purpose um, art glue. And, you'll, and we'll talk about this tip in a minute. I'll just put that to this side. I've got a tacky glue, and these are mostly all general purpose, a quick dry adhesive, and a clear gel tacky glue. Um, if you have a look on their um, YouTube channel, you will find that there's already been a, a, a vlog done for these. Um, I have found them to be very, very good, and I might go through and do a couple of things with them. Sorry if my arm's in the way. We've got a pickup pencil for the little gems and things, so I might have a bit of a play with that a bit later on. I'll just take it out of its packaging and give it a sharpen. Um, and we've got some scissors, which I thought was fabulous. So I've got one, two, three, four different sorts of scissors. So we've got detailing scissors. We've got general purpose scissors, a larger pair of general purpose scissors, and the precise scissor snips. I like these. These are pretty cool. So we've got those, and we're going to use those today as well. I've got a twin tip alcohol marker colour swatch book, which I absolutely i am dying to get some of their um, markers to be able to start swatching them out and see what happens with them and um, fill out my little book and see how we all go. Now we've got a, a glue and residue eraser. Look, these are fabulous. I also use these for masking fluid. So I don't know if any of you out there who do watercolour or even, I don't know whether it's used in acrylics, but um, in watercolour painting, quite often um, I'll put down some masking. I'll just show you what that looks like. Okay. So this is an art spectrum masking fluid. So this is the masking fluid and you just put this on to keep your whites, basically. Um, and these are fabulous for taking um, masking fluid off and obviously glues as well. So I'm going to say we might have a bit of a demo with the glues. I might put some down onto something and get it dry and then try taking it off with the eraser and let's have a look and see how that works. Now my favourite new toy that um, Couture Creations has given me is the jelly printing plate. I absolutely love this thing. I got it last week. I was a little bit excited about it. Um, I already had a brayer, so I was really grateful that I had something here already that I could use. And we're going to have a play. You can see that because I've used alcohol inks on it, that it has stained a bit, but it's not going to affect the use of the jelly plate. So that we're going to put aside. We're going to make some gift tags with that shortly. I've got a splatter box. I've got a couple of ideas for this splatter box as well to pretty it up so that it looks nice on my desk. Because um, I find this is this will be fabulous because sometimes when I'm doing alcohol inks, when you're when you're using um, oh, your hand blower can do it too. Sometimes it'll flick up. Um, but also when I'm using my hair dryer, when I'm using my airbrush in particular, it's it can sort of go on the wall a couple of times, had it happen. Um, I've been pretty lucky that I've been able to get it off because I've noticed it straight away. But if you were to leave it there for any length of time, I'm going to say you would struggle. I think it would stain. And then our next lovely item that we have on our list is the all-in-one magnet mat. Now, I haven't even opened this one yet, so I'm going to open it right here so we can have a look. Excuse my arms. I didn't trip prepare this very well before I started this morning, did I? I'm just going to pull this out. Okay, here we go. So we have four really strong uh, magnets. They're great. And this ruler, I understand, is magnetic as well. So I'm going to say that this is going to be really interesting for jobs where you need an extra pair of hands. So you could actually use these, whether you use the ruler or these um, magnets, to hold your work down in place and then you can actually work on it. Haven't given this one a go yet. Haven't got a project for it in mind just yet, but I am going to have a look 
um, into what I'm going to do with this. I also like the fact that it's got a little hanging hole in this in the top of it, so I could actually put a bit of string or something through that through the back of it and be able to hang that up on my wall somewhere, which is great for space saving. I don't know about you guys, but I've never got enough room in my art room. So that's that. Our next product, and this is why I kept this multi-purpose, all-purpose um, art glue here. These are our little pin and nibs. So this glue, so I've used this glue. Um, I used it the other day when I created these. And it's lovely to work with. Um, I also use some of the... Um, like the dimension drops, just let me get it out. Uh, liquid drops, they're called the 3D pearls. So I've put a little bit of that on there because I was just playing with it. Um, and then I bumped it, so I buggered that one up, but that's okay. So they've got 12 lovely colors. Um, we'll probably have a bit of a play with those. I've got a few projects in mind coming up now. This nib, this nib is lovely to use. So let's take so this is one that I did a little bit of jelly printing on the other day. So I'm going to grab something and show you how fine this layer of glue can become. Okay, let's grab something out of this box. Okay. Sorry about that. Wasn't very well prepared this morning. Okay, so I've got this little felt and string um little star i'm going to put this on here and i've just um it's just got a staple through it so i've taken my pin out and now i'm just going to put a little bit of this glue down and i can tell you you don't need a lot of it it's really nice glue to use but see how fine that is so if you've got to go over anything that needs a lot of detail this will be fabulous so i'm going to put that on there let's take that bit of glue off there and there we go. There's another one that we can create. I'll probably add a bit more to this. So some of the other things about these tags that I've created is, so I've got the jelly printing in the background. I've got some alcohol ink artwork, which I have placed, cut up strips of, I think it was a piece that I used to do some jewellery with. Um, and I've just placed them on there because that's the orientation that I liked. I had some of these wooden um flowers with little buttons on them and a lady beetle so a bit of burlap and um and a bit and a butterfly that i had laying around a bit of a stink, thank you sticker they were all fabulous it was great fun to do but this glue i'm really really impressed i actually really like it a lot i like this tip is gold so i have another tip here and I'm going to say I'm going to be using this glue a lot over the next um, few weeks. I've got a few projects which need glue, so um, that's going to be one of my favourites to go to. So let's start by looking at our jelly plate. And we'll create some backgrounds to go on to um, some of these. So I've just got these. Um, I just bought them really cheaply from the office shop here at Kingaroy. Um, Morning Sue Robinson. Um, fabulous people down there. Absolutely love the, the ladies down there. They're really, really lovely and so helpful. Now, I've got three different sizes. So this is the mid-size. This is a little tag. I don't know exactly how big they are. I can measure them. Oh, can't I? I can grab this magnetic ruler and do that. So we've got, this one is, for this side, okay, this one is three inches by probably five and a half inches, I'm going to say. So this one's three, three inches by five and a half inches. This one is... Go through here. So we've got three and a half inches in height and one and a half inches in depth. So these ones are four and a half inches by two and a half inches. 
So these are great size tags. I make tags nearly all year round, but I've never had the option to use jelly pad before. I'm just going to grab my brayer. I, I could, oops, sorry about that guys, I'm back in focus again. Okay, so this is my brayer. Um, I know I brought it from Two Sisters Arts at Crawford, um, just down the road from us. These are great. I've never, I'd never ever used one before until um, I'd gone out there. And they're fabulous. Uh, I, one of the benefits of having a brayer is you can bray, put your stuff on there. You might still have ink or paint or whatever it might be on your roller. Tip it upside down and it's not going to get onto anything. But I will say when we're doing this today, I need to have a few pieces of paper um, handy so that I can roll off the excess paint and inks that we're going to use onto a piece of paper. So you can use a bit of cartridge paper, printer paper, um, whatever paper you have around. I think I've got some butcher's paper. Um, and then later on, um, as I get a bit more of a collection of different papers, we might have a go at doing a junk journal. So I'm going to finish off this video here and then I'm going to come back and we're going to, and I'll set up for the jelly printing. Okay, guys, have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning. This is Fiona Elliott from Elio Moon Arts. Now we're just going to get back to having a go with this jelly print. I don't know how many of you guys have used them before. Um, I have only used them once and that was when I created those other cards that I showed you in the previous video. And for those of you who may not have seen that previous video, I will do a link um, somehow or other. I'll figure out how to do it. Um, and we'll do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our jelly our jelly um, plate out. So basically we're going to be printing with the jelly plate. So it has these plastic protectors on it. So we're going to take those off from the other side. I'm just going to check and make sure I've got this in the frame. I'm just going to put those two pieces back in there. I put mine back into this little sleeve that it come with from Couture Creations um, because I want to protect it. I don't want it to get little divots or anything in it. Um, I have not yet tried. I presume that if I was to wipe this down with some, with some isopropyl alcohol or blending solution, it's not going to hurt it. Been a little bit scared to do that. But then again, I sort of think, well, I've had inks on there. And it's gone okay. I'm just going to grab a couple more inks first. Okay. I've got the wrong box out for my inks. So I have two of these cases. So this is one. And these are all my Couture Creations inks in there. And then I have this one as well which has even more Couture Creations um, inks and a few other brands as well. So I love these cases. They're, they are God sent when I'm teaching because I can just pick the two cases up and throw some paper in the top or some Yupo in the top, whichever it is I'm using at the time, and off I go. It's fabulous. So let's just go move these out the way for a minute. And we've got to decide on, a, on some colours we're going to use. So I'm just going to play it by ear. A couple of other things that we're going to, that I'm going to have here with me. So I've got these bits of discoloured cartridge paper or printer paper, and I'm just going to have that beside me. And I'm get, once I get stuff on my brayer, I'm just going to brayer it off onto here. And these papers will then eventually be used in another project. I'm hoping to actually do like a junk journal. Um, and we'll see how we go with that. I have never done a great deal of mixed, mixed media stuff. So this is all very, very new for me. And yeah, I think I've fallen down the rabbit hole. I'm quite enjoying the mixed media at this present point in time. So I've got this um, chromo, chromo acrylic uh, medium bodied gold paint we're going to use today. And I'm also going to use an Atelier 
pearl paint, which I need to get out, I think. Just bear with me for a moment while I'm going there. So this is Atelier, um, this is a medium bodied as well, and it's a tinting white pearl titanium. So I'm going to say when you put this into other colours, it'll give it that pearlised effect. So we're going to have a bit of a play with this today and find out. Um, we're going to use this bit of gold. don't know whether I'm going to pull out some more acrylics or not. Um, I haven't done a lot of this with acrylics other than using this pearl um, as a top coat. But we are going to definitely play with some inks. So I'm going to have a look and I'm going to see if I can find my glitter inks first. Might use a bit of this rose gold. I know we've got glitter ones here. It must be on this side. Okay, let's find some glitter. That's a pearl. So we've got a burgundy. Mm, that might get a bit lost in that one. Might have to go with the pearl gold. Might use some pearl gold, some burgundy. Maybe a little bit of storm. Mm, I need a new one of those. Maybe not that one. Um, maybe a little bit of black onyx. What else we got here? a little bit of the jade metallic in this one so we've got jade we've got some so we've got jade <coughs> excuse me so we've got um couture creations uh, metallic jade we've got couture creations alcohol ink pearl gold we've got glitter accents burgundy of couture creations and we've got um, glitter accents onyx so this one's got like different colored um, sort of bluey greeny colored um, flecks through it this one has a purple I think through it through it and I've just got a couple of other colors I'd like to try and use as well so just bear with me while I just find them oh, there we are. Uh, we've got cobalt um, and that, this is golden age. So this is so these are glitter accents. This one is golden age. So these ones all have gold glitter in them. And we have a turquoise. So we're going to have a play around with a few of these colours today, and we might use some rose gold metallic with these ones. So stencils, stencils, stencils. out some stencils that we can use so I'm going to do like some background type stencils we might use this one this time maybe or maybe this one maybe me with that one for the minute and I'll just see what other ones I've got here that might take my fancy maybe that one maybe this one Maybe one of those two. So let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. So I can't, uh, most of these stencils I have brought from um, Couture, uh, no, not Couture Creations. I brought them from Tanya at Two Sisters Art in um, Crawford, which is just out of Kingaroy. So this is Dusty Attic. Um, DA1473 this is where this circular one this is the one that I used the other day I'm not sure what this one is this is just a Mandela one that I really liked and I use this one as you can see I use this one quite a lot this one is a Cobwebs Craft Studio A4 and this is I'm not sure what they call this one but it's sort of almost like that um, 
hypnotic -y type stuff that you do. That's pretty good. This one, I am not sure where this was from because I cannot see anything on it. But this one's pretty cool too. Gives you a bit more. It's very earthy, this one, I always find. I always think it always makes me think of trees and all that type of stuff. And then we have this one. And I'm not sure where this one is from either. This one, oh, here we go. This one's a Dusty Addict one, um, DA1608. And this is their circles one. I'm just going to double check this one. I wonder whether this one's Dusty Addict as well. Can I see anything on there? Nope, can't see anything on there. Okay, so I think we might go with this one maybe. I really like this one too. So apparently, if so I have heard, you can get these jelly plates in bigger and smaller sizes. I think they I'm not sure if which ones which other ones Couture Creations um have but i'm sure if you go to your nearest stockist of couture creations products uh, they will be able to find out for you if they have other sizes in this i am aware that um i'm not sure what brand it is i think there's some round some small round ones like about this size um yeah but let's start to play so now we're going to grab our inks so i'm going to go with this black Oh, oh, sorry, Onyx Glitter Accents Alcohol and Temperature Creations. So this is really the first time that I've used this type of ink on here. So there's our first one. Make sure you give these a really good shake before you use them just to get that glitter moving into all of those nooks and crannies. So now we're going to put some burgundy down. And I probably put a little bit too much on my gel plate, I'm going to say, but maybe I'll be right. So I'm going to just mix those colours a little bit. Just make sure you're covering the whole pad in there. And that's just about dry now. And so now I'm just going to grab my bit of paper. I'll just pull it into view for you. And then I'm just going to spray that off onto a piece of paper. So now we're going to add our we're going to add our stencil, put it in a spot that I like. So because we're using inks, um, I'm not going to, I'm just going to brayer that on there. I just want it to stick really firmly down onto the, onto the, the pad. Okay, um, because we're using inks, I'm not going to worry too much. So at this stage, when you add your next layer, when before you would actually add your next layer of colour, some people actually pull out, try and pull out all of this. So they would get another piece of paper and try and pull that out. Because I'm using alcohol inks, I'm going to try without not to do that this time. So I'm actually going to add some of our pearl gold from Couture Creations over the top of this. then I'm going to brayer over the top of that and just get it moving into all those little places. Now at this stage, yeah, get that all in there. Now the reason that I'm going to do, when I do the next stage, the reason I do the next stage is because um, alcohol inks are quite transparent and we want, so I'm just going to do this off onto here again, you can see that's got a lot of gold on it, we'll have to clean that off shortly. So that's pretty dry now, so I'm going to pull this off. And you can see we've got all that lovely gold sitting on there. Okay, we'll clean those off after. So now I'm going to grab my um, Atelier uh, Tinting White Pearl Titanium. 
Um, I just might give this a bit of a shake, otherwise it'll... Um, just remember, with, with paints, don't go like this to try and mix them. You won't mix them, but sometimes you'll have some of the um, binder um, not mixed in with your paint, especially if they've been sitting for a while. Give them a good bash on your hand because that'll push the binder back into your um, paints. Please don't hurt yourself when you're doing this, but I just wanted to make sure that that's really mixed up in there and I don't get any of the binder. You see some of the binder come up in the lid. Well, let's have a look and see if we can see what's going to happen here. Oh, oh, that's paint. So we just want a little bit of this on our, on our jelly plate. And once again, we're going to spray her over the top. And we're just going to get that a really nice coverage. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin either. And next will be the will be the fun part. We'll see what we got. Okay, so I'm a little bit happy with that. I'm just going to bray that off onto this paper. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this sheet of maybe three might be the magic number for this. I'm going to grab this sheet of. And then I'm just going to rub hard. Oh, not too hard, but I really want to push down on it. I want to make sure that, that it's getting as much contact with that gel plate as I can. I'm not worried that this has got a little bit on the back. We can fix that with something else later on. Okay, now for... To see how we get wet. Oh, wow, look at those. How cool is that? What do you think? Don't see a lot of that burgundy in there at this stage, but I think I'm going to try pulling... I might grab one of these sheets of paper and pulling um, another print off here. Whoops. don't know my own strength this morning. really push that down now pull it up mm. took off a little bit but not a great deal so I might grab a different piece of paper so I'm going to say that could be because it's a bit dry maybe I've put a little bit more of the white on here the pearl And brayer that over it again so it creates another wet surface and see if we can get another print off this Nice contact with your gel plate. I mean, some of you people might already have gel plates stuck in your cupboard and haven't done anything with them. This is something a little different. Or may not have used them for a while. Oh, look at that. So that's a secondary print we've got. Wow, look at that. That's really pretty. So, and that's cleaned off a lot of stuff off my um, off my plate. I'm not worried that they, this stuff's going to stay there because I'm going to use the same um, this same uh, stencil, but I'm going to add some different colours this time. So before we had the gold, which you can already see on here. This time when we add our colours, we're going to use some different colours, but little bits of this gold and whatever else is left on the jelly plate will come through onto our next print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of this um, golden age turquoise. 
And then I'm going to add some of the blue to it as well. So golden age, my understanding is the what it means is the inside the ink there is like gold glitter. So I can see there's quite a lot of glitter on this and I'll be interested to see how this pulls up. I'm going to use a bit of this blue. This is a cobalt blue in the golden age as well. So there we go. So we've got these beautiful pretty colours. So we're just going to mix them around a little bit and let's see how well this glitter comes off the let that dry a little bit maybe just give it a little bit more of a rub over probably put a little bit too much on but let's see how we go this time so as I said before we will actually pick up some of the other um color that was on there from the first pull that we did of our um so I'm just going to grab this and I'm just going to spray that down so that's on that map nicely and this time we're going to add some of the uh, metallic alloy rose gold Just throw a bit of that on there, like so, and then we'll bray her over the top. You need to move quite quickly when you're doing this section because you don't want that to dry before you've had a chance to get it down. I don't know whether I've got quite enough on there. I can see some spots that are not getting it. Okay, now we're going to, I might do some of these bigger cards this time. So I'm going to put this one here. This one, oops, I forgot to step, didn't I? Okay, so I've got to pull this off. And that's just about dry. Oh, that's looking cool. I'm loving this. Okay, so now we're going to grab our pearl. Pearl paint. Oops. And I've just got a craft mat underneath me, so it doesn't matter if acrylic paint gets on here or inks and stuff. Um, it'll wipe off quite easily. The inks do stain it a little bit, but it's not too bad. I'm just going to roll this spray off. A little bit too much um, acrylic on this one, but that's okay. So now we're going to stick these ones down. Move this cord out the way. So I'm going to put this one in here. And I've just left a little strip on the side that's not going to be done. And then... That's quite pretty too. It's a bit plainer than what I expected it to be. I'm going to put this one, the whole card on, and we're going to go over this other side. So these are the bigger um, tags that I had. So this side of it you can see wasn't there was none of the pearl paint and it's still lifting off quite nicely. So I might just grab a few of the smaller tag. We might take this slot off here. Just 
Just getting some different effects there. Oh, I need a few more pairs. Let's get under here. Another blink one. Look at this one here. So I'm being quite firm when I rub on that. And there's another one. And you see how that's pulling all the, the stuff from underneath. I think they call it a ghost print. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what they call it as a ghost print when you're pulling off those, um, those ones from underneath. I'm just going to grab a few more tags so that I can um, do a couple more pulls on that. I'm just going to put a little bit more... Um, of this Atelier paint on there, the acrylic pearl. Oops. And on this same design, I'm going to do a couple more. finished we'll go back through and have a really good look at what we've created so i'm going to do these two there that one there put that up there and now just give them a good rub with our hands and you sort of want to feel that your gel plate warms up to probably the heat of your hand so when you first put it down because it's got the acrylic paint and that on there it's quite a cold surface but as going to give this one a really really good rub to warm it all up and hopefully get some more of that ghosting that we got from some of the other ones so I can see bits of the black onyx from um, the first pool that we did in that and same in this one you can see flecks of the gold and I can see some of that glitter coming through this was um, our first pool Look how pretty that is. Look at those colours. Okay, let's give this a pull up and see how we went this time with this ghosting effect. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, they're going to come apart. So there's one. And see how it's picking up all the bits from previous pulls? Oh, look at that one. That's lovely. Now for the last one. Very, very cool. I hope you have enjoyed this. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to pop it down onto this piece of paper. So this is all I'm doing. I'm just popping this onto this piece of paper and I'm going to pull it up. Just trying to get rid of some of that excess that I've got on there. And I will be back with you all in a minute. 